paper. But what I wanted to tell you is that I have a copy of the meeting agenda and meeting minutes. Okay, now what was discussed at this meeting is pertinent to why we're all here today, because they talked about what they were going to do. I, I can't believe you did this with us in the room and passed out their agenda. I have it, which I am going to submit to every person in the committee. And now that this is out, we're talking about it, we're also going to make this go viral. Try to make a point, sir. Exactly. Um, so, I have a copy of that meeting agenda that I'm going to give to each one of these committee members. Now, what was talked about in that meeting was this bill, gun confiscation, gun registration, the banning of assault weapons, the banning of high capacity magazines, so on and so forth, it went for two pages. Now, they said, and they all agreed, talking in the room, that they could not come out and do this, just blatantly come out and do it as a public, us, people that care about their rights and their liberties, without obviously freak out. And uh, obviously, plenty of us are here today explaining, expressing that. But they said they were going to do it incrementally. Now, anybody that's been around, especially people that are elected representatives, know uh, incrementalism is what moves an agenda forward. Whether it's for your side or the other side, it doesn't really matter. Never let a good crisis go to waste. And incrementalism are two things that are going to drive policy in this country, whether they're federal or the state. And what these people are trying to do is slowly, incrementally, a little bit, bit by bit, they're going to try to get, ultimately, gun confiscation, gun, regi gun, gun registration, which always leads to gun confiscation. That's a fact for our history. And they're trying to do it, and you will see that in their, in their agenda that I'm going to share with you in the next couple of days. Could you uh, wrap up your comments, please? Sure. Thank you for moving me along. <laughs> Last thing I'm going to bring up, which I've only heard two people so far discuss this. Fiscal, the last page, last couple of pages of the bill is a fiscal note. This right here should say ITL to this bill, okay? $200,000 estimated. Now, I want to also point out that there's three parts here that I have highlighted, which they say estimate. They can't even give you an accurate estimate of what the estimate should be. And it states that right here. The Department of Corrections of States is not able to determine the fiscal impact. Next one, the association is unable to determine the number of individuals that may be charged or incarcerated. But yet we have a price tag here of $200,000. Out to 2018, which is only four years away, $400,000. This is only an estimate. Well, where are we going to come up for this money? Uh, one of the representatives, I forget who it was, asked the uh, prime or co-sponsor of the bill that question earlier, where are you going to come up with that money? Oh, well, I think we can find it. Well, can you please tell me where we're going to find it? Because I don't want it to come out of my taxes anymore. I want zero, none, no more taxes, zero. But yet we're going to pass this and we're going to incur another $400,000 of estimated costs on our state. As a, excuse me, sir. Thank you. Um, as representatives, you have to look at it. Where is the money going to come from? And based on that, where we don't have any money, we don't have any additional funds to play with to institute registration, which leads to confiscation, we should ITL this bill. Thank you for your testimony, sir. We have several more people to go, and it's almost 5 o'clock. Sir, I appreciate it, but I sat here just as long as you did, and uh, I'm prepared to do my, my testimony. Thank you. Um, unfortunately, I was done, but thank you. <laughs> thank you.